All right, so Safeguard is now out in Black Ops 4. I did a video on this already, but I want to see what's the fastest way to disable the robot. You get 150 points for doing so, and I wanted to test three things. So I already know what the answer is, but I'm going to show the testing, and hopefully you guys learn a thing or two from this video. Now, I've seen some false information on the internet, including from one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm not going to name drop, but that particular YouTuber said that headshots don't matter. And he also said that FMJ doesn't affect the robot, which I believe is true, but I'm gonna test all these things. The problem is you can't go to safeguard in a custom match right now. So that hampers and hinders my ability to test. So I'm gonna do this live. And of course I'll cut out the nonsense where I'm not near the robot. But what basically what I need is a fresh robot with zero damage. And then I need to test a few things. Now, I am on my son's name because one of the weapons I'm not high enough level on my own name to get. So if you see the username Nolan Super Saiyan, that's because I'm not on my own name. I'm on his name. So let me just cut ahead and we'll get the testing started. We're going to find out what's the best, fastest, and easiest way to destroy the safeguard robot. All right, we have a fresh robot here. Let's see if we can Get a few shots off. I see that guy right there, but I want to hit this. Clear these guys out of here first. Because I was one. God dang it. There's two. Looks like that guy hit one. Three. There's four. So it takes four salvo rockets to destroy. All right, so this is the Titan here. Whoa, with FMJ1 and FMJ2. Did that guy just call me an F word? I don't know what he said there. Let's see how many or how long it takes. Let's see if I can spray all these guys down real quick. I'm shooting through something there, so. Alright, so we got a good a good test there. Let me just spray it some more. I, I kinda want a fresh robot. Let's see if we can. So FMJ, oh, I don't know why my aim's going all haywire. So as you can see, it takes forever with FMJ2. So I don't think FMJ2 does anything. But let me just switch to... Oh, that's not the right one. I'm just spraying. I need. To, I actually need to die, so that's why I'm just spraying here because I need to switch classes. But apparently, these guys are gonna let me. Oh, actually, kill me. There we go. All right, so here's the Titan. Holy lag, Batman! This is the Titan without FMJ. Let's see if we shoot him in the head if it does. Okay, so we got enough shots off there to see. All right, so now we're gonna test the Mozu with the operator mod against a fresh robot, but you have to hit it in the head. So let's see if we can line this up. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight shots, more or less. Let's just try that again, because it looks like I'm was a little delayed. All right, so I'm gonna try that again. See if I can sneak up on the robot here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think that... Yeah, it's about eight. That other guy was shooting it too, but before. So that, it looks like it's eight shots to the head. That's a one-shot kill, brother. So as you just saw, if you're not aware of what the operator mod on the Mozu does, it quite literally makes it a one-shot headshot kill from infinite ranges. And you can also equip this scope here, which uh, is pretty nice. Pretty nice for zooming in. The headshots are so nice with this. <laughs> this gun is so amazing. 
stuck on the wall there. Helps if you hit your headshots, huh? What the heck? The so I don't know what this <laughs> I don't know what that box is right there, but the game just glitched. And I don't know, that's weird. Let's see if we can hunt some heads. Oh, hey Ajax. Come on in, Mozu. Weird glitch. I don't know what that was. Super weird. It's like a white box. But anyway, that's the power of the the Mozu. Let's see if I got Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So by far, one of the easiest ways, not today, to destroy the robot is by headshotting it with the Mozu. I don't know why it lagged there. Did you see how fast that got destroyed, though? It's insane. This game is, is just all sorts of laggy here, and I don't understand why, but let me see if I can show you again when it fully reboots here. Let me kill this guy first. I mean, it just drops it so fast. The only problem is you only have six, six bullets in your magazine, so it, it makes it a little difficult. Oh, and now yeah, so now I'm I'm out of ammo completely because I was using it so much. But without a doubt, the Mozu with its operator mod absolutely destroys. The robot. I'd highly recommend running Scavenger or Crash for his uh, basically scavenger ability. Because uh, you burn through ammo quickly. But let's see if I can get up to it and headshot. Oh, there's a guy right there. Headshot the crap out of it. I mean, look how fast. And then you could probably even. Yeah. I, I wanted to see if I could melee it, but that guy took it out before me. Let's try again. We're going to be right next to it. Did you see how fast it disables it, though? I mean, I demolished it. I think I said it takes eight shots. Oh, there's a, there's a guy right there. Shoot. All right, let's see. Someone else is spraying it, too. So this is going to be even faster than normal. But look at that. That is insane. But you do have to hit it in the head. So I'm just going to put this down to get a little more ammo. But I guess that's how it's supposed to be, obviously, because you're never going to be shooting the robot by yourself. Or at least you shouldn't be. You should always have teammates shooting alongside with you. So let's see if we can get some shots on. Yeah, look how fast that is. I'm telling you, this is the way to go. So technically, you should never be shooting the robot by yourself since this is a team-based game. And with other people shooting... Now, watch how fast it goes with other people shooting. I mean, and you get full credit for it, provided you hit the, the last shot. Let me just heal up. So I went back and I looked at all the footage I just captured, and it looks like FMJ doesn't really do jack squat. So if you're running a Titan with... Uh, two extended mags and two FMJs, it's not worth your while. FMJ does nothing. Well, maybe maybe a slight improvement. It's, it's hard to tell because I can't test in a private match and it's really mucking me up. But what we did see is that the salvo is quite good. Four rockets, and if you run fast lock to lock onto him quicker, although you don't really have to lock onto him, you can just free fire, but sometimes the rocket goes all over the place. But definitely run Rocket Catch because that gives you, what does it give you? Uh, five rockets total. And remember, it takes four. So without this, you'd be running out of ammo unless you have uh, Crash's ability. Now, Fast Loader is immensely helpful as well. Now, I tested High Explosive on my account, and from what I saw, it doesn't do anything either. Against the robot, at least. So by and large the best attachments for the salvo are fast loader rocket catch and fast lock but the best thing weapon i should say in the game for destroying the safeguard robot is the mozu with its skull splitter operator mod now one thing of note here you don't have to have high caliber on i tested this now this i could test in a in a private match but high caliber doesn't i mean once you have the operator mod it's always a one-shot headshot from any distance without even without the high caliber so don't waste an attachment on that you're better off using like speed loader or quick draw or stabilizer or something other than that 
when you have this operator mod equipped. But as you saw, it takes eight shots. And unfortunately, you only have six in your magazine. But your teammates will always be shooting at the robot as well. And when they're shooting and combined with your skull splitter, it destroys it in quite literally under three seconds. It's, it's remarkable. Try it out yourself. Give it a whirl. And remember, you have to aim for the head. Now, I didn't test score streaks and specialist items because I need a proper setting for that. And I'll do that whenever this comes to a custom match. Well, I don't know when that's going to be. They haven't even added Nuketown yet. So who knows how long that'll take. Now, some people have also told me that some of the, the bayonet type attachments do wonders against the robot as well. Like, uh, oh, the vapor has one. The vapor has the bayonet, in fact. So if you want to try that, someone said that that's a nice attachment as well. However, you got to be right next to the robot for that. And what are the odds that that's going to happen? At least with the Mozu, you can be you can be halfway across the map if you want. As long as you have the compact scope, it makes it so easy to zoom in and get a headshot. And even if you're not just going for the, the robot, it'll make your enemies rage beyond belief. Just getting a headshot absolutely destroys people and their morale. 